Hey guys, welcome to the review and 2020 Grand Final, Richmond, Geelong. Well, you can see the scores right there. Uh, 31 points to the tune of the Tigers and yeah, an amazing win and an amazing dynasty, it has to be said. I don't even know why I'm reviewing this game right now, but uh, I'd rather not think about too much uh, tomorrow, I suppose, in regards to it. But yeah, Richmond too good. No, nothing ever goes wrong for them, <laughs> seemingly. Yeah, um, that's uh, that's the final result. Tigers three in four years and back to back, and yep, uh, Geelong good for a half and not quite good enough in the second half to get the job done. Obviously, Richmond the first few uh, Geelong responded, which was good. Later quarter time and did well in the second term to sort of get some ascendancy on the scoreboard use the ball really well um, ball movement was good going into the 50 able to isolate uh you know forwards but uh, if i'm to be completely honest it's uh I, it's a game i went to uh just over a year ago and see uh basically played the same way again and lose the same way again 2019 prelim final um yeah, essentially lost in the same kind of manner. Um, yeah, two goals after half time, basically exactly the same as last time. That was our half time score, funnily enough, last year. And yeah, Richmond do what they do. They, I tipped them in the start of the week. You know, nine points, have been a closer one, but yeah, they filled up the boots a bit late when they broke the cats back. And yeah, they. Yeah, they're a sensational team, has to be said. Um, yeah, the pressure they apply, that it's more about Richmond really than Geelong, but yeah, they were able to move the ball yeah, super well. Um, of course, it rained and of course the conditions suited them and their, their game style wasn't too many sort of marks uh, throughout the night and the Cats really couldn't control the balls they would have liked to have. But yeah, Richmond, just like Parkinson's Law, uh, time will expand to fill a task and Richmond will flick uh, the switch and go into another gear when it's required and yeah it's just muscle memory for them they they get it done so often and yeah they'll go down as one of the greatest teams so don't know who's going to be able to beat them next year either um, good luck to that good luck to whoever thinks they can but it's going to require them to drop off um, quite significantly I think for any team to get anywhere near them so yeah, look, they're, they've just got players that know how to do the right things in the at the right time. And Geelong obviously had some moments that uh, they'd like back. You know, so many missed opportunities in the second term. You know, with Stanley and Tui and, uh, yeah, Myers playing on. And just, just uh, ooh, 20, 22 up in the second term. And you thought, okay, we're in control. And then, okay, last thing you need is... Richmond get a goal, and then Dusty gets a goal, and you go, come on, all right, 15 and a half time, because I we were 22 points up, I thought, am I daring to dream, I, I, I generally felt confident from then on, and it's going to take something special, and once again, uh, being 20 something, you know, 20 something points up, Hawthorne in the 2013 uh, prelim final, you know, 20 up at three quarter time, and 19 up, you know, when Caddy uh, responded in the last quarter, uh, Richmond, yeah, in the prelim again last year in the 2020 grand final, you know, up by over 20 again and just not able to put the foot on the throat, not able to uh, withstand the storm to, that's uh, inevitably coming along. Um, yeah, Richmond lifted. The, their, their ground ball was basically what won, the, won them the game. Um, they, were, they were just much more cleaner. Whenever the ball hit the tech, they would get it. If it was a stoppage, they'd get it. Uh, you know, they'd get field position, they would run in waves and, yeah, make it, yeah, just apply immense pressure and put the uh, Geelong's back line under a lot of uh, stress and duress. We just simply couldn't get it uh, forward uh, after half time I and mean, they eventually put Dangerfield in the middle, which had to happen. Didn't really matter though. And, yeah, even him in big games, especially anything from prelim around that time onwards, Hasn't been great for Paddy. He's probably played all right, but yeah. Geelong, again, they just failed in the big moments. Um, 
basically I just couldn't stop Richmond and yeah, it's been a yeah just just a bit sick of it, a bit over it to be honest, but yeah, they're good. Sports hard. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. If you're Richmond you just win, so <laughs> Yeah, how good is it? Um, yeah, nothing ever seems to go wrong for them. After all the fiasco they had throughout the year and complaining and winching constantly and being in the headlines, it, yeah, the bullies find a way to win. No justice in the world, but... <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm doing this review right now, but I suppose I'll get out of the way with it anyway. Uh, numbers pretty even there. Inside fifties, Richmond were able to generate some more opportunities and a little bit more effective inside fifty when they had it there. Dawn couldn't really get it in there. Uh, and disposal efficiency was about the same. Did well on the hitouts, but clearances and center clearances. Richmond ranked seventeenth and somehow become the best team in the world at stoppages overnight. Just nothing short of bullshit to be honest. But yeah, whatever. Uh, Geelong had a bit more of the uncontested balls they do. Uh, yeah, 50 marks to 36 Geelong. Normally I'd take 90 to 100 marks, but that didn't happen uh, with the conditions and Richmond didn't really allow it. And there were times where we just handballed when we shouldn't have handballed, like Joel Selwood. Yeah, start of the third term, he handballs it to Guthrie under pressure and just, just goes into garbage, really. But, yeah, Richmond tackling pressure is just, yeah, it's always up there. You know, it's going to always be up there. And Geelong invite a little bit of the tackle pressure. Didn't end well, yeah, so. Um, we'll look at the stats and a few of the numbers, I guess. Yeah, to sort of determine the three votes. Um, well, I've got two sorted out, but the other one is gonna be yeah, interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of players that had some low numbers, that's for sure. Hmm. Oh, I've got two sorted out. Uh, yeah, probably not here. It's from Stanley. It's not too bad. Yeah, right, I've got this. Got it all sorted. Uh, three votes. Tom Stewart. Uh, he got twenty. Uh, disposals next to his name. Six marks, three tackles. He was just cleaning it out of the back line constantly. And uh, he was really good. He played his role really well. Um, Duncan got 25 and a goal and seven marks, four tackles, four clearances. He was yeah, sensational in the first half and uh, just nine after uh, half time and probably not as damaging as he'd like in that second half. And I don't think many yeah, really found a way there. But yeah, Dun Duncan was yeah pretty solid. Uh, the one vote, I, I'll go... Menegola, maybe, I don't know. Menegola kicked two, uh, he got 13, next to his name, five marks. Um, yeah, 300 metres gain, so I think goal yeah, clearance in there, goal assist for Menegola as well. Yeah, so look, he tried, I think, yeah, based purely on that mark and courage laden, that, that ability to finish from nearly 60 out was uh, really good. Um, Stanley was solid and Selwood was okay, but yeah, just not enough. It's not enough contributors there, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll go through them, I guess. Uh, Stanley was okay. Had some shaky moments, and again, like a lot of players, good in the first half, but not enough uh, going on with it in the second half. Um, Guthrie kicked a really big goal early uh, to sort of extend the flow and give us some confidence. Myers kicked a goal. He should have had two. Should not have missed the, uh, the first goal that he inevitably missed. Mentioned about Menegola, uh, Dangerfield, yeah, pretty poor really for the big stage. Uh, one goal, 12 touches, wasn't really damaging up forward, wasn't really damaging in the midfield, so he couldn't really find his hands on it. Hawk had a shocker, um, has to be said, he dropped a chest mark he should have taken. One goal, two, um, yeah, wasn't really that useful up forward. Parfit, very quiet, <laughs> pretty quiet, very quiet, seven touches. Didn't do much. Uh, can't believe Dalhouse got 14, but yeah, look, I had a really good smell, but outside of that, nothing really else to report. Henry, during the headlights at times, he, he kicks out on the full lock, gets pinged a bit. Uh, Blitzarves had a pretty poor night. 
Tui didn't do do a lot. Um, he was okay early. You know, Cole Jasney, don't get into the corridor ever again, mate. <laughs> There's no limitations. Uh, the little master, he got 12 and got injured in the first couple of minutes, and that was yeah, super disappointing. Simpson got 12. He was he tried hard. Uh, Pugh's got a bit of the ball, but yeah, I suppose Richmond Smalls didn't do a lot, just dusty. Uh, O'Connor got nine. He was a little bit shaky, but he was okay. Uh, Rowan's just going to be one of the poorest big game players ever. He's just had three shocking grand finals. Uh, Henderson didn't get much of the ball and wasn't really night for him. Um, Taylor kept Lynch reasonably quiet. But, yeah. Uh, as Rewalt says, it's the power of none. or well, the power of Dusty, pretty much. Four goals. Best on ground again. Um, Norm Smith medalist. Been announced, of course. So, yeah, he goes down as one of the best finals players ever. Or probably the best player ever um, in finals. Pretty Norm Smith uh, says that all. So, yeah, good on him. Well done. Good on him. Yeah, so there's no next week, guys. Uh, there's just a next year. Uh, yeah, Cats will probably get Jeremy Cameron, but more so, uh, yeah, who's going to beat Richmond, I guess. So, mm. it's just, uh, let's keep finding ways to win. And good luck next year to whoever plays them, because, um, yeah, it doesn't matter what happens throughout the year. They just they just find a way. They find a gear, and they're good enough, and they've been there, and they've done it. So yeah. Anyway, proud the cats made it, but yeah, it means little when you when you look, go there, make it uh, all the way, and uh, lose it. So yeah, good on Richmond. Well done. Whatever. Three out of four. Good on yous. Nothing ever goes wrong. So yeah. Anyway, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. Catch you later.